Before we get started, do any of you fine young cadet homies have any questions for the old bat commander? Yes, uh, commander, can you tell us how you started the Aquabats? I'm glad you asked, Chauncey. It's a tale as old as pinball games. We all came from a tiny island, somewhere deep in the South Pacific, called Aquabania. It was a beautiful paradise, hidden away from the rest of the world. We surfed all day. We ate food all night. And when there was no food, we ate sand. You ate sand? We ate sand. Then, one dark day, out of the sky, a force from outer space invaded our little island home. About eight or nine of us escaped, and we vowed that day to return again with help. The journey was harsh, and not all of us made it. We washed up on a strange beach, and a kindly professor took us in. He nursed us back to health, made us shiny blue uniforms, and gave us special chemicals to enhance our natural ability and strength. Ricky was given super speed. Crash was given giant power. Eagle Bones was gifted with a special laser shooting guitar. And Jimmy was turned into a human cyborg. The professor was amazing. Commander, what special powers did you get? Dude, mind your own business. Anyway, the professor then gave us a mission. To become a rock and roll band. Drums, guitar, keyboard, bass. And, uh... His final gift was his greatest creation. I give to you the Battle Tram! And that's how we became the Aquabats. <laughs> All right, 